Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build and structure your MarinaJS application. Uh, MarinaJS is based on Backbone.js, and Backbone.js is basically a framework for building single page web applications. But the problem with Backbone.js is that it's not uh, really giving you any structural rules or forcing you to build your application in any specific way. So it just gives you uh, valuable tools and you may end up with an application structure which is not really scalable or maintainable. And MarinaJS tends to help developers in that situation by extending some of the uh, Backbone.js uh, tools and setting some structure for your application. So let's start. Uh, we are going to build our application just simple single web page application which is going to be uh, this library so basically uh, this application allows you to look at authors and books uh, go to author of page search for the author like this so let's start I've created this basic application structure beforehand. So as you can see, I'm I'm using Gulp uh, JS for running uh, tasks and Webpack JS for building uh, JS part of the, our application. Also, I have styles, images, and templates for our views. So uh, what we need is to have entry point of our application. So let's create a file called index.js. right here and uh, this is going to be the entry point so what we need is our application here like this also we need uh, jQuery and uh, we are using this um, material design uh, library called materialized CSS and uh, in order for this library to work, it's, it needs uh, jQuery to be exposed globally. So we have this hack here to expose our jQuery into global scope. So as soon as our DOM loads, we need to start our application. So it's going to be basically like this application starts. And also we need a container for our application to so to draw in so we are going to use this container option and we are going to draw our application for example in in into body yeah. so like this also we need to create our app js And uh, our app.js is going to be a uh, uh, Marionette application. So what we need is Marionette itself. Um, also we need jQuery. Like this. So let's create our application. It's going to be just uh, Marionette.js application. Uh, so and as soon, as soon as our application starts it's going to fire this start event so we need to set a handler for this and in this handler we are going to get uh, all the options which start provides us with so it's going to be options and we provided this um, container for our application so Let's get this container here. So it's going to be either we provide it, or if it's not present, when we are going to draw our application to body. Uh, next, we need to create our main view, and the main view is going to be the view where all our uh, child views are going to be drawn so like this 
and we need to import this view here like this so let's create our view here it's going to be just simple view it's going to be called main main view js like this and as you can see I have already created this template for the view and uh, the main point of interest is this region called GS main region and this is basically going to be the main container for all our uh, views so let's let's create this main view and it is going to be pretty simple so what we need first is our template this one so we just import it here like this main HTML also we need marionette like this so let's create our view it's going to be main view and it's going to be the uh, layout view. So layout view is one of the main type of views in the uh, marionette and layout view basically can have regions in, in which we could draw any other views. So we also need this uh, lodash library like this. So and each view has to have this uh, template function. Basically, template function is going to return uh, some HTML, and you could use any library you want for uh, your templating. But I'm going to use the simplest library, which is called uh, Lodash, and this library has this method called template, and this is just going to compile my uh, HTML to te template function like this. So, uh, uh, Lodash uses this handlebars template notations. It's pretty simple. So, the other thing which is interesting is regions. Regions is the uh, object which have this. Uh, where you can you could uh, define your regions of your view. So uh, this view is going to have this one region called uh, main, and I'm, I need to have this selector here like this. So and in order for the our uh, materialized CSS to work properly, like like this menu for example we need to run some functions so I'm going to get this element find I, I need this uh, so we have this uh, button right here so and as soon as it's clicked, it is going to show this uh, menu here. So we need to run some functions on this button. So we are going to get it here and run this side nav function. So yeah, let's continue and also we need to export export our view here so we have our main application and we have a view uh, also we need uh, we need some functions for example we need function called show view which is going to get this view parameter and it's going to just um, draw this view into the region 
like this. Yeah. And we need to render our main view like this. Seems okay. Also, what we need is a data layer for our application, but we are not going to use any um, server-side applications, so we are going to generate data on, on client-side, mock data. So we are going to have this uh, file called init model, like this. And what this file is going to do is just going to generate some, some random data and it's going to expose this data but the, the delay like to in order for our application to behave like a server so we are going to use this uh, library called faker and also we need loadash for that yeah, and let's just create our authors and collection. It's going to be just backbone collection here. And we need to generate some random data, so we are going to use this range function of Lodash to generate a range from 1 to 100. And we are going to map all this generated data like this and here we're going to return our author object so it's going to be ID author needs a name so it's going to be faker name so find name is going to generate a random name for the author also we need info and we are going to generate this lorem ipsum text like this we are going to randomize the number of sentences so max is going to be 100 sentences and also we need a folder for the author uh, but I don't want uh, all the authors to have photos so I'm going to do something like this if uh, random number more than uh, zero, then offer is going to have random 40 here. But if it's not, it's just going to be undefined. Like this. So also we need to export our function, which is called init model. And this is just going to be a simple function, which is going to return uh, data layer object so let's create like data and uh, it is going to have this get authors function and this function is going to return our authors but their promise so we are creating this delay here so we are going to return promise instead of data so we won't get our data right away like this so let's create a delay function like this and basically it's going to emulate the server delay we are going to call resolve function with this authors but um, with some delay and for example it's going to be three seconds max also we need a function called get author just one author and it's going to have this id parameter here we need to just find our author but there's a specific ID like this 
um, seems everything is okay so let's let's just import this main init model here like this yeah. and let's call this so this function here like this um also we need some routing for our application and uh, for this we are going to create this function called init router like so uh, and uh, init router is going to be just simple collection of roads and handlers so what we need is marionette here um, and let's create our init router function and export it here like this so what we need is our uh, roads uh, object and roads object is going to have this controller object and up roads object and up roads is going to have this for example if we are creating our authors roads is going to have this Authors road and then authors ID and it's going to have these handlers for example show authors like this and uh, show author like this and as soon as this application go to this URL it's going to call this uh, handler and this handler is going to be in the controller so and we are building for example, we are building a big application and it's hard to maintain all the uh, roads in one place. So let's let's just um, separate our roads like this. So we are going to import, for example, if you are going to have this uh, author's road, we are going to have them in a separate file. So for example like this and let's create our file here called authors.js so and uh, authors.js is going to be this simple object of roads and controller so let's create our roads like this and controller like this and we are going to return this object here like so so basically we are going to define our roads here so and if application on the root road uh, just for example, like this, uh, we are going to call this show authors by default. Also, uh, if user goes to this authors road, like this, we are going to show the same function. We are going to call the same function. And if uh, user goes to this author slash ID, we are going to show one author. And we are going to define our um, functions here, so it's going to be like this. Um, yeah. So it's going to be up 
show view. We are going to create this authors view here. So as soon as the user goes to this or this, it's going to show just uh, authors view, and the authors view is this view of list of authors with the search functionality. And as soon as uh, user goes to this author slash ID, it's going to show just one author with a specific ID, so it's going to be like this, and it's going to be author view with an ID like this. So, and in in the init road, we need to just merge all our object objects. Mm. And just call this function here like this. I need all dash for that. Uh, basically. All is set. All we need to do is just uh, create our views for the uh, authors and for the one author, like this. So uh, here we are going to get import our. Uh, views like this. So let's create our views here. So first is going to be authors view. Just simple author view. So, and the author view has this uh, template, simple template with the uh, image of the author, the name of the author, and the info of the author. So, I've created this view beforehand. I'm going to just paste this code here and I'm going to explain what is going on here. So, basically, uh, we are importing Marionette, uh, the template of this, and um, uh, loading template. And we are going to create uh, our author view based on the layout view. Uh, here we initializing a view with uh, author ID and as soon as uh, we got our data, we are going to render out our view again. So basically, uh, we are getting uh, author from data layer of our application, and we render it as soon as it's loaded. So uh, this function called get template is going to return template for our view, but uh, if we have the author already, or for the data, we are going to draw this template we have here, so with the author image and uh, name and so on. And if we are still waiting for the data to come, we are going to draw this loading screen here. And uh, as you can see, I'm using this uh, functions called get photo, get name, and get, get info. I could write something like just photo, name, but it's not really helpful. For example, if we have, if we, if we also don't have any photo, it's going to just sh show undefined here, and it's not what we want, so we and we define this template helpers here. So, and this is going to be called 
as soon as uh, template is drawn. So and if the user has author has this photo, it's going to show the photo. If not, it's going to show the placeholder for that. So as with name and with the info. So let's create our next view, which is called Osha's Vue.js. And this is going to be this uh, view with the search functionality and a list of authors. Um, and this is basically uh, based on layout view so we are getting the template here and uh, another thing we are getting the office uh, list view so office list view is just a simple list view without the search and heading um, so we are defining our templates the office is going to be just the data from the server side office list is going to be overview filter is going to be the uh, filter text so and we have this region called uh, list so if we look at this um, authors uh, view template we have the heading we have the search uh, input and we have this region which is called JS authors list so uh, we are defining it this region here so as soon as our view created, we create new list view, we load the data from the server side and uh, as soon as this uh, view is shown on the screen, we are going to draw uh, the author list, uh, author's list view into the list region. So, and uh, while we type in, we update our uh, view with filtered authors, so we just filter our office by the name and uh, draw uh, redraw this uh, collection view so we need to create this our collection which is called authors list view js so and this is just simple collection view so here and collection view has uh, two interesting variables. First is child view, and this is going to be uh, item view, which uh, holds the main view of author. So we defined it here. It's just simple item view with the template and the helpers. Also, we create this empty view, and the empty view is going to be shown uh, when there is no uh, data or the collection is empty so it's going to show us here no authors so I'm I'm just typing something and the collection of found authors is empty so it's going to show us no authors and this is simple item view with this no authors heading so and as soon as this view is created, we are going to create this uh, collection and this set authors uh, method is going to reset our collection with filtered authors. So I think we are all set. Let's try to run our application. Uh, we need to uh, we need to run npm install first. Um, yeah, and also we need to build our application like this. So it's building. So let's run webpack dev server. So let's run our application 
and it says that get office is not defined. Get authors. Let's look at get authors. It's yeah. We need to return our data layer here. So let's run our application, and uh, we see that. Um, we have our authors and it emul emulates this server side uh, latency. So let's run this. In. You see, there's no authors, but they are pop up. And as soon as we click on some author here, it shows this uh, loading animation. So it gives uh, some time for data to load. So, and basically, this is it. I encourage you to use uh, MarinaJS in your uh, projects with Backbone.js and uh, thank you for listening. Bye.